If you're ready to take your bubble lettering to the next level, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're diving into more advanced lettering techniques to make your bubble lettering pop off the page. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you can add shadows and create highlights to your bubble lettering. But before we get into that, let's do a quick recap of the easiest way to do bubble lettering, which is first writing the word or letter in block lettering. Second, creating an outline and thickening those lines with rounded edges, erasing the block lettering sketch that you created. And the last step is to ink the outline with the pen of your choosing. Now, let me show you a super easy way to add in shadows to your bubble lettering. Now, I'll show you exactly how to do this uppercase bubble lettering style on my previous video. I'm gonna add the link to it down below if you want to make each letter all the alphabet in uppercase as well as lowercase so be sure to check that one out as far as adding shadows we're going to imagine the light source so let's say if the light source is coming from the left that means that the shadows are going to fall slightly to the right and to the bottom of each stroke of the letters so just remember to make it easier we're going to add a stroke to the right and slightly to the bottom by moving towards the right to each letter of the alphabet now this can also be applied if your right source were to the right then it will be vice versa you will add the shadow to the left and to the top of each stroke of the letters don't worry this is going to make more sense in a little bit and for the shadows i'm going to be using this monoline pen and remember the easiest way for you to add the shadows is just think of adding a line to the right and to the bottom of each stroke of the letter now it's not going to be directly in, at the bottom it's going to be angled a little bit towards the right let's go ahead and add shadows to each letter of the uppercase alphabet I had to switch pens because the other one was giving up on me but I decided to keep doing it with a monoline pen even though I'm making a thicker line for the shadow usually if you have small letters like I have here it's better to use a smaller tip pen and then you can thicken the shadow as you go than to use a super thick pen and then your shadows are going to be inconsistent so that's just a little tip that I wanted to give you when you're doing shadows to your bubble letters now there is one of the letters that i miss adding the shadow as i was editing the video that's when i found out about it now if you've been paying attention and you know exactly where the shadows are supposed to go let me know in the comments if you can spot the letter that i missed the spot to add the shadow Now, before we continue with the alphabet, I wanted to ask you that if you learned something from this video, please give it a like because that increases the chances of YouTube showing it to more lettering enthusiasts like you. If this is our first time together, I'm Myra with Vial Designs and I create videos just like this one to help you be more creative by showing you simple ways to learn calligraphy, lettering, and doodling. All right, let's finish adding the shadows to the rest of the uppercase bubble lettering alphabet. Now that we learned how to add shadows to every letter of the uppercase alphabet, the next thing will be to add highlights. And I'm gonna be coloring these letters with gel pens, and I'm gonna show you a cool trick to add highlights when you color with gel pens. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you how to add shadows to words and phrases when the bubble letters are overlapping within each other. For that, I'm gonna go ahead and write the phrase, thank you. 
as you can see here, I started with the word think by writing it in my personal blog lettering cell. By the way, if you want to learn how to do this type of blog letters, I'm going to put the link to the video where I show you exactly how you can do this blog lettering style. And then, as you know, I am thickening the strokes by adding outlines with rounded ends. And then I'm repeating the same process for the word you, and I'm going to add an exclamation point. Now, after I am done with the outline of the letters, I'm going to erase the block lettering that I did at the beginning. Now, this right here is called a neater eraser, and I like to use this to erase most of the tracing, but not completely. This is going to be helpful so we don't have to erase at the end. And for this coloring of the letters, we're going to create a really cool effect by adding these wavy lines in the middle of our phrase. And I'm going to be using the Artesa Everblend marker Fuchsia A486. I'm going to be using this to color the top and the bottom of the phrase. For the middle of the phrase, I'm going to be using the Artesa Everblade Marker Teal A265. Now for the outline, I'm going to be using the Sharpie Roller 05. Then I'm going to outline the letters and then I'm going to be adding the shadow to the right and slightly towards the bottom of each stroke of the letters. Now you can also choose to do it to the left and to the top of each part of the letters. Keeping in mind that the parts of the letters where they overlap with each other, we're going to skip the shadow on those parts. Now let's make these bubble letters pop even more by adding highlights and for this I'm using this Posca paint pen extra fine and usually what you would like to do is to add the highlights to the opposite of where you put the shadows. Now if this is the first time that you're using the pen make sure you activate it by shaking it a lot and activate it in a scrap piece of paper. For the highlights we're just going to do a line of following the form of the letter and at that we do recommend that you let the marker dry and and then go over it again if you want to get a little bit more opaque highlight you could also use a white jelly roll pen to add the highlights as you may have already know i love using my glitter gel pens to color my bubble lettering and this was my first time coloring with alcohol markers but i do have to give credit where credit is due i first saw this type of coloring from mural du graffiti i found him on pinterest if you want to check more of his work now let's talk about adding highlights to your bubbled lettering alphabet when you are coloring with gel pens. One thing that I like to do is to draw blurbs or circles inside the bubble letters and then using my glitter gel pens to color around the drawings that I did inside the letters. This is one way that you can easily add highlights to your bubble lettering. Since you are coloring with the glitter gel pens, it will be difficult to use like a paint marker or even a white gel pen to add the highlights so this is a little trick that i like to use now when i'm coloring with my glitter gel pens i usually pick random spots to add the highlights it doesn't necessarily have to be opposite of where i added the shadows this is going to be completely up to you you decide where you want to add the highlights i'm adding the highlights here to all the alphabet so you can keep it for reference this is also inside my workbook if you're curious i have two different bubble lettering styles that you can choose and I also show you how to do each letter of the alphabet and other tricks that you can do to make your lettering pop. I will add the link to my workbook down below. This video is part of a bubble lettering video series that I'm making so I can show you everything there is to know about making super fun and playful bubble lettering. If you're just getting started with bubble lettering, be sure to check the two previous videos on this video series where I show you my easy step-by-step -step process to create amazing bubble lettering every time.